Hey, 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 welcome. Sharon Horn Elstrom here with day nine of the free painkillers challenge. Now, as you know, we're going mind, body, spirit, mind, body, spirit, mind, body, spirit. So today is a spirit day, and I just want to make a little disclaimer that some of you might find these spirit days a little too woo woo, and that's okay. I'm trying to make it so that it's something that we can all understand, and it's not too woo woo because it actually took me several years to wrap my head around some of these concepts and some of these ideas, but they've made a world of difference in how I experience chronic pain. And that's why I want to share them with you. So whether you believe in these things or not, you can still benefit from what I'm sharing. So today's concept or thought is that we're all one. We're all part of the universe and the universal energy that exists in the world. And whether you believe that or not, there's a lot of things you can do. You can look into it further if you want to, but it's, it's true. So there's universal laws and there's universal things about the way the world works that are unquestionable. And you can try to live against those principles and beliefs and rules or laws or whatever you want to call them, or you can live in alignment with them. You can live and go along with them and have them help you in your life. I struggled against them for a lot of years and it didn't serve me very well. So now I've learned that it's easier to go along with certain things than it is to fight against them. For example, the concept of us all being one. And what that means to me is that if we're all one and everything is energy and I am part of that, then am I really alone? I know sometimes I would get into a, a woe is me or a really downward spiral of feeling sorry for myself because of the pain that I was experiencing. I would often feel isolated and alone and lonely and think that I was the only one going through what I was going through. No one else in the world could possibly be feeling as much pain or anguish or depression or sadness or anger or fear or doubt or worry as I was. And when I first experienced the chronic pain was, you know, 37 years ago, I was 21 years old and I was alone and isolated. I was trying to go to college. I, I lost all of my friends. People don't want to hang around with you if you've got chronic pain. So I was alone. And back then, we didn't have the internet. Uh, we didn't have a way to easily and effortlessly reach out from where we are to other people and connect with other people. Nowadays, we're actually blessed with social media. Now, some of you might be saying, it's a curse. I hate social media. I hate Facebook. I hate Instagram. I hate all those. I don't even know what they are. And that would be me a few years ago. I was not a social media person at all. And here I'm doing a Facebook Live. So you obviously know about Facebook Live if you have found me and you're listening to this video. So the advent of social media has made it so much easier for us to connect with one another or find people that are in a similar situation. So I went a couple different ways with this topic today and decided that I needed to take it down a couple of notches because that would be important for us to all understand. And I wanted to get to something that we could really relate to and would really impact and make a positive difference on your chronic pain, like it has on my chronic pain. Um, you know, back when there was no internet, it, it was lonely and it, it was frustrating and sad. And that led me personally down a deep hole of depression and, and doubt. And I, you know, didn't know if I wanted to still be here or not. If I was, you know, by the time I was 24, I'd been in chronic pain for three solid years, almost four. And there was no light at the end of the tunnel. The doctors and the experts said, there's nothing we can do for you further. You're just going to have to figure out how to live with it. And back then I did feel isolated. I thought I was the only one. No one in my family had anything like I was experiencing or had ever had anything like I was experiencing. But now last spring when I had a flare, a really bad flare where I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't walk, I couldn't, I, I, I mean, I couldn't get out of bed and make it to the bathroom. I, the first thing I did was I reached for my cell phone and I started looking online for solutions. And what I found was all these amazing forums and groups of other people that are having chronic pain or that have chronic pain. And a lot of them are going through a heck of a lot worse than I ever have. Uh, and so I, I started to participate in those. I started to follow those and, and get engaged with them. And that made me number one, find solutions for the flare I was having really, really fast. And number two, it made me realize that we are connected. There's, there's actually one and a half billion people on this planet that have chronic pain. So 
no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. There's other people, almost one in seven people on the planet, more than one in seven people have <laughs> to sneeze in the middle of their painkillers video, chronic pain. And I guarantee that there's at least one other person in that one and a half billion people that have the exact same thing as you and are experiencing very similar issues. So our challenge for today is simple. I challenge you to find someone else that's in a similar situation as you. And I don't want you to go find them because you want to commiserate and think, oh, I guess they're worse off than me, so I feel good about myself. Please don't compare yourself to others. We talked about that a couple of days ago. It's imperative that you only compare yourself to yourself and your improvement to you, not to anybody else. I mean, yeah, so... Last year, I kicked my chronic pain to the curb in 30 days. I don't expect you to necessarily do that because that's me. And I have spent years figuring out what works for me to make that a possibility. I'm trying to shortcut the process for you so you don't have to spend 34 years figuring out what works for you. Let's uh, face it. Lots of us don't have 34 more years to, to fiddle around trying to figure these things out. So what I want you to do is I want you to go online or go grab your cell phone and I want you to either Google or use some kind of a form to search for, you can either search by what your illness is. If you've got fibromyalgia, search for fibromyalgia. If you've got a specific thing and want to go specific, go ahead and search for that specific thing and you will be amazed at how many forums and groups and support groups there are for that specific ailment. You can also just search chronic pain. I don't remember last time I searched chronic pain, but I know there were over a million results just in Google and then there's Bing and Yahoo and all the other search engines you can search or just just on Facebook live here search chronic pain groups and you'll be amazed at how many chronic pain groups there are and I'm in several of those answering questions and helping people out to find ways to alleviate their chronic pain but I just want you to do it from the position of knowing that there's other people out there if you find somebody you resonate with and want to connect with them that's terrific too because it makes you feel less alone but realize we're all one, we're all connected. There's lots of other opportunities to, to meet up with people and not feel lonely. And I want you to do that today. That's today's challenge. Go out, make it an awesome, perfect health day, and I'll see you tomorrow.